the Hume how-to. We are going to show how to replace your existing door with a new Hume door. The tools we need are a tape measure, claw hammer, chisels, Phillips head screwdriver, combination square, a cordless drill, drill bit, driver bit, spade bit, a hole saw, spirit level, a power plane, hand plane, builder's rule, a trimming knife, hinges, assorted screws, timber wedges, a pencil, and your ear, eye, and dust protection. Let's start by placing a wedge under the door to support the weight during its removal. Using a cordless drill, remove existing hinges from the door. Now remove the existing door. Careful, some doors are heavy, so you may require some assistance. Measure your opening. Do so in multiple places to ensure correct height and width. Use these measurements when purchasing your new Hume door. Place your new door on a workbench and remove all packaging. Check for handy hints and instructions. Transfer the measurements to the door. Every opening is unique and most doors will require trimming. Check manufacturer's warranty for trimming allowances. Recommended clearance between door and jam is 3mm and the bottom margin will vary depending upon the floor coverings. Mark your door for trimming. Ensure your line is clearly visible and that you know which is the top, bottom and external face of the door. Clamp your door in preparation for trimming. It's time to plane down your door. First with the power plane. Make sure you do not go past your marked line. Remember, you can always plane some more off if required. And finish with the hand plane to ensure an accurate and nice finish. Place your door in the opening. Wedge underneath. Check correct margins. You may require more trimming if it does not fit correctly. Now with the door wedged in place, measure for the hinge position from the jam. Repeat for all three hinges. Put your door securely on its side and transfer the measurements from the face of the door to the edge using a combination square. Repeat for all three hinges. Open the hinge and place on marks Trace around the hinge. Now scribe around the hinge with the trimming knife. This will help in chiselling. Remember, always cut away from your supporting hand. Chisel out for the hinges. Start with a series of cuts along the scribed outline. Cut a series of relief cuts along the hinged area. Now chisel out a shallow recess for the hinges. Ensure you don't go deeper than the hinge leaf thickness. Slowly, Remove any excess by hand and sand for best fit and finish. Place the hinge on the door and drill for screws. Insert screws and repeat for other hinges. It's important to seal your door top and bottom as you won't be able to access this once hung. After sealing, place your door on wedges and ensure the hinges are at the correct height. Now insert the screws. If changing the hinges, a new hinge position on the jam may be required. Use the hinge as a template, like we showed you previously on the door. Check the margins in operation. The door may need to be trimmed some more, if the fit is not quite right. Measure and mark out for handle and the latch. Most handles come with a template to help in this process, but typically, most handles have a 60mm back set. Drill a pilot hole. Then with the hole saw, drill a hole for the lock. Be sure to drill from both sides. Next, drill a pilot hole for the latch. Then with the spade bit, drill a hole for the latch. We're going to reuse the existing handle, so remove this from the old door. Place the latch in the hole and use this as a template. First draw around the latch, then scribe around the edge. Chisel out for the latch. Start with a series of cuts along the scribed outline. Cut a series of relief cuts along the latch area. Now chisel out a shallow recess. Ensure you don't go deeper than the latch depth. Now slowly remove any excess by hand. Ensure the latch fits correctly with the tongue going the right way and insert screws. 
Place the handle into your door, ensuring the external part of the handle is to the outside and not upside down. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, screw into place. Now close the door and mark the tongue position on the closing gem. Using a combination square, transfer this line around to the inside rebate. With the striker plate directly centred, draw around the striker using it as a template. Using a spade bit, drill a hole for the latch tongue. Only go as deep as the tongue requires. To fit the striker plate, start with a series of cuts along the outline. Make a series of relief cuts along the area. Now chisel out a shallow recess for the striker plate. Place the striker plate onto the jam. First drill the pilot holes and then insert the screws. All that's left to do is to check your door swings freely and operates well. Wow, what a difference a new door and a great job makes. With Hume How To, we make it easy.